everybody, this is Major Dave, and today we're going to cover one of these challenge nodes uh, from the game. Um, now, I've been able to complete quite a bit of them, uh, except that uh, a few of them are still uh, eluding me, and I'm not able to finish them out because of my current roster, or maybe just because I'm such a good player. Um, but what I decided to do this time was to go through the Orb Fragments node, which is the one that's available today on a, uh, well, Wednesday right now. That's going to be June 30th, 2021. Um, so we'll look at what, I, what my current setup is with regard to the squad that I use for this tier. We'll go through the paces of the, of the match, and I'll show you the strategy that I use to see whether or not we can maybe defeat it. Now, I have defeated this before, and I've managed to one medal out of it, but that means that most of my team got wiped, with the exception of maybe one or two characters. I don't really recall what one medal means. I think it's one or two characters, or maybe just one. But anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is we'll try this and maybe you can try it on your end. Maybe you're more, more successful with it than I am. And perhaps you can close it out without having to upgrade the characters even further than where they're at in my current roster. So let's check out the, the, the squad first and then we will uh, go into the match. All right, so here's my setup that I use for this challenge node for the orb fragments, right? So. Dead center, I put Emma at level 72, about 65,000 power, four red stars, five stars total. Her abilities are good for this match. The blinding is very useful for this match. And so is the applying slow to the entirety of the opposing team is crucial in order to be able to successfully complete this tier. So who do I put behind her in that first spot? Well, the coveted spot is going to go to Baron Zemu. I have him at level 75, 71,000 power, four red stars, six stars total. Uh, most of his abilities are maxed out, I believe. And to me, the kicker here, or what makes him so special, no pun intended, is the fact that he's going to ability block a lot. And uh, that's really useful in this as well. And then on the other side, I typically will put Ultron. Now it's important to have his summoning ability maxed out in this tier so he can have some sort of a healer uh, on top of Mr. Sinister, which is the other one that I use as well to heal. Um, otherwise, the chances of you actually being able to get the healing minion dropped out of the summoning from, uh, or to appear out of the summoning from um, Ultron is gonna be uh, reduced. So if you wanna have him as a guaranteed summon every time he uses that you use that ability on him is to have that particular ability maxed out and that's the case here with this character and that's why i use him plus the fact that you have all these other minions that are going to give you speed up or offense up is going to be re really crucial as well and then on one side i'll put magneto magneto primarily because of the blind that he applies with his special or uh, his ultimate excuse me um so that's uh, really important. And by the way, I had mentioned uh, Zemo's special is the ability that ability blocks the other player or the other character, but in reality, it's, it's his ultimate as well. Uh, and then in the last spot here, I'll put Mr. Sinister, of course. He's got the cloning ability. And again, he's gonna heal. And this is a very strong character in my roster. As you can see here, he's level 75, 75,000, six stars, four red stars. So that's the composition I'm currently using. Um, you would think that Phoenix would be useful here, but I am not going to put her in there because the moment she passes or dies and gets summoned as Phoenix, or you know, um, as uh, when she gets killed, she comes back as the more powerful uh, entity. Um, it's not going to count, and she'll still have died in game, which in the match, which means that you're not going to get the three medals, so it's worthless. It's pointless. And that's why I don't use her because I don't want to take that chance and I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. And plus, she's not currently high enough ability-wise to uh, perform as I would like her to in, in this uh, challenge. So don't use her, in my opinion. If you want to give it a shot, go for it, but I wouldn't use her. So let's get into the match. I hope that explanation kind of gave you an idea of what I'm trying to say here uh, because it's late at night and I'm a little tired. <laughs> but uh, let's get into the match. So the idea here is to defeat the marked enemies. And as you can see, Thanos immediately has the chevrons marking him. And then we'll see uh, Ebony Maw come on. 
the screen and uh, get the same marking. So the two characters that you want to focus on are going to be Ebony Maw and Thanos. Now typically I want to try and take Thanos out, but one thing to keep in mind is every time you hit one of these two characters, either Thanos or uh, Ebony Maw, Cull Obsidian is going to come back with a counter, or just counter, it's redundant to say that, but he's going to counter and he's going to hit you. So you want to make sure that you can blind Cull or maybe even prioritize getting rid of him so every time you attack one of these two highlighted characters, you don't get hit um, uh, by him, or you don't get hit from him. Hit by him? Hit from him? Doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and first move it. We're going to ability block Thanos with the ultimate from uh, Zemo. Okay, so that ability block right there. And there you go. Cole Obsidian is going to do the counter. Okay, things are not looking good right now. <laughs> But that's all right. So next thing, we're gonna throw some salt on these guys and use the uh, special from Emma. All right, that's gonna slow most of these guys down. Now we're gonna summon with uh, Ultron and you're gonna see that all three minions are gonna come up. So we get the healing minion, minion and we got the other ones that are like the speed, uh, the accelerator, uh, incinerator runs, but they're actually the ones that provide the uh, offense up and speed up, I believe. And then, um, well, just off and stuff, I'm sorry. And then uh, Ultron's Fabricator is going to be the healing one. So we'll use the special from Magneto. We'll get everybody to huddle up together. Hopefully blind most of them, which we did successfully. And the first person that I want to clone and always clone anyway is going to be Ebony Maw because Ebony Maw is going to be able to bring defense up on your side. And his healing is crucial. So now you're going to have three healers to clone Ebony Maw. Uh, Mr. Sinister and one of the Ultron minions. To clone them, Ebony Maw, the best thing about his healing is that he extracts the energy from the opposing team, which means that the opposing team is also going to lose energy as you gain energy. So he's crucial. Keep it in mind that the same is going to happen in reverse with the AI. So that's a big deal to, to remember as well. So let's go ahead and clone him. Okay, luckily he's blinded. So we're going to go ahead and bring the defense up to everybody. Okay, uh, please remind me tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we'll bring the defense up. Okay, so we got defense up on everybody. We see that Zemo's the lowest one right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the speed up. I'm sorry, I kept saying offense up, but I meant speed up. So speed up from that guy, speed up from this guy. And then we're going to do a little bit of a boost with healing here for Zemo and um, for um, Emma as well. Okay. Now here's what I want to do. He's blinded, which means that we can sort of start attacking Thanos for the most part. Uh, because, well, they all have defense up as well. But let's go ahead. Well, Crystal doesn't have defense up. I guess we could go for her. But I want to use the, the ultimate from... Ultron against Thanos because Cole Obsidian is going to counter, but he's not going to hit us because he's blinded. So I think it's worth using that here. Yeah, there you go. See, he missed that, which is good. All right. So now he's taunting, so we have no choice but to go after Cole at this point. Okay. Basics here. The problem is we're wasting so much here because of the... Uh, fact that they have defense up right so let's go ahead and do the ultimate from Ebony Maw so you're going to see here how he's going to extract energy from the other team which he did and gave us energy so now we're back to almost 100% health let's get rid of these uh, extra Loki's here to mirror images they're just kind of holding this back and what we're going to do is we're going to once again well, we can't blind uh, Cole at this point so we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and blind um, Ebony Maw. Okay. So he's blinded. Looks like his energy is fairly low, so we might want to go ahead and start focusing on Ebony Maw at this point. It's lower than Thanos. So um, perhaps we should go ahead and do that.
And what I'll do is I'll use mostly the minions to attack Ebony Maw because it's okay if we lose them. Because I don't want Cole attacking my other characters. Although I think he can attack Mr. Sinister. He's pretty strong. So that's okay. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose a lot. See, it's a good thing he was blinded. He missed that. All right, so we'll do... Uh, this is a minion again, so we'll do Ebony Maw with the basic. All right, we lost that minion. Let's go ahead and work on Loki. That's what I was afraid of. Let's get some more minions out here. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and um, I'll work on Ebony Maw one more time. We'll do Loki this time with uh, the special from Magneto. Okay, speed up again. Let's see if we can get rid of Loki right now. Almost. Speed up. Or offense up at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and do some healing. Although, we don't really need it. So, we'll, well, we'll save that for now. We'll try to get rid of Loki. I might regret that later, but we'll keep it in. Uh, let's go ahead and use the ultimate from Ultron. The ultimate against Ebony Maw. Okay. And now we can use the healing from Mr. Sinister to get everybody up a little bit. There we go. That works out like a charm. All right. Uh, let's get... Now this will get rid of Loki. Cool. He's gone. Let's keep uh, working on Ebony Maw. We need to get the ability blocked on Thanos again. So that's a, an important thing to do. So hopefully next time Zemo rolls around, he's got his uh, ultimate ready to go. All right, let's get the... Oh, I guess he was already... All right, never mind. We had everybody already filled in, so he summoned. Uh, it was a wasted ability, so make sure to remember that if all the minions are out there and there are no extra spaces left on the uh, field, you're not going to get any more summons, so... Or any more minions, so don't waste that uh, ability like I just did. All right, basic on... Ebony Maw, okay. So another basic here from Mr. Sinister. Okay. Now you got to keep in check with uh, Mantis because her turn meter is going up and up and she might heal before you're able to kill Ebony Maw. So that's one thing you got to really, really keep in mind. So hopefully we get to get rid of him before she comes in. I think one more... One more turn should do it. Oof. Tough choice here because I want to ability block Thanos. But she might get a turn afterwards and heals. But, you know, I think it's worth ability blocking him. Hopefully it pays off. Okay, it's not her turn yet. So we might be able to get rid of him here. Let's try basic from the minion against uh, Ebony Maw. Boom, we got him. Cool. All right, that worked out. Okay, so now we're going to do... Um, let's go ahead and go against uh, Cole, I suppose. Even though he's got defense up. Oh, he's still going to counter anyway. That's true. So her turn is almost ready to go again with Crystal. Let's keep working on... Well, let's let's go ahead and use the minion on Thanos. Or, I'm sorry, that was... Uh, no, that was a minion. I thought that was Ultron. Okay, Mr. Sinister again. All right, offense up, speed up. So speed up and offense up, yeah, it's both. I'm so confused. All right, uh, let's do the basic against uh, Crystal, I guess. Just so Cole doesn't come back and counter. All right, now we will do, he's got very low energy. I don't want to lose him, but, because he heals, but anyway, we'll go basic on Thanos. It's all right, we could lose him. We can hopefully summon him again. No big deal. Now we're going to blind Cole, so then we can go all out on Thanos, at least for one turn or so, and not worry about him countering. Alright, so we'll do a uh, special on Thanos with uh, Zima. Yep, he misses that, so that works. Let's do uh, basic from the clone. Okay, he's still blinded, so we can still uh, get after him. No problem. Alright, blind is still on. Basic. Blindness alone, basic again. 
All right, chipping away slowly. All right, we got one more, oh man, a couple of turns before summoning, but let's use the uh, ultimate. Uh, let's see how much damage we can put out put out on him. Uh, probably around uh, 100,000, because I know uh, Cole is blinded, so he's not going to attack us again. Or he'll counter, but he'll miss, I mean. There we go, nice. That's totally worth it. He's still blinded. Let's keep going. I'm surprised it's lasting this long. All right, let's throw some salt on them. Cool. Good job, good job. Good game. All right, um, my guys are running low on, uh, on energy. I hope they stick around. I don't want to... I don't lose them. Now, keep in mind, I can't clone Ebony Maw anymore. So <laughs> he's gone. So that strategy is out the window. So I can't get defense up anymore or the, the cool healing that he provides. All right, let's get the uh, summons back in here or the uh, minions. Let's go ahead and keep work, keep working on uh, Thanos. Looking good so far. All right, speed up, offense up, heal. All right, basic. We might have to get rid of him here. Let's see. Can we do it, Emma? No, not strong enough. That kick wasn't strong enough. All right, come on now, one more. Mm, do I clone or do I kill? Do I clone or do I kill? I kill. No, no, I should have cloned. All right, never mind. Just kill him. What? Get rid of him. What is happening? All right, thank you. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get rid of... Um, get rid of Cole, he's still blinded so we can work on him. All right, let's use the ultimate uh, from Ultron. All right. Mm, we'll save the ability block for Minerva when she comes on the field. Special. Basic. Okay, missed. Basic again. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm about to lose Zemo, so that's not looking too good. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get the three medals here. Let's heal up and see how much we can put back on Zemo. Okay. Well, um, there he goes. So that's that. It was an honor, Zemo. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll blind Yo-Yo. Or maybe I should blind, well, blind Yo-Yo. No, let's blind uh, Proxima. Because the goal is to kill these guys, right? So that are highlighted. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, some more people. Get some more minions on the field. Get speed up. Get offense up. Healing. All right, everybody's almost back at full health. And from here on out, um, I think we need to focus on Minerva and Proxima. So Proxima is blinded. Problem is Minerva. She's not going to get a turn yet, so let's start working on uh, Proxima a little bit. Just keeping in check with that uh, turn meter for Minerva. Not that it matters, but I just hope that she doesn't revive somebody important, like Thanos or Ebony Maw. Or I mean, Cole isn't that bad, but I really don't want her to revive uh, Thanos or Ebony Maw. So we're going to clone her, so we have a healer on our side, and we can also revive people as well. Apply to slow on everybody. Or most of them. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do the... We'll do a basic on her. From herself. Basic from the minions. Okay. Another basic from the minion. Basic again. Alright. Okay, her turn meter is pretty low, so let's go ahead and attack Proxima. Base. Okay. Kind of a slow burn there with uh, Proxima, it seems. Okay, let's do the ultimate. Yeah, it's really not doing a lot of damage. All right, let's, uh, let's heal up here. Oh, you know what? I should have revived to bring back Zemo. That was dumb. We'll do it next time, hopefully, if she's still around. If that clone is still around. I'm going to lose Magneto. That's not good. Yep, there he goes. I was worried that the crystal was going to make that move. 
Okay. Some of people. Speed up. Okay, so we lost our Minerva clone, so we're not gonna get revive. We're not gonna get a revive right now. And let's keep going after Proxima. Why did that switch? I didn't click on him. On Karnak. Yikes. Okay, that's not looking good anymore. We still got to revive an Ultron. Oh, they, she revived Loki. Okay, that's not that bad. I think we still have a revive on uh, Ultron. All right, let's blind uh, Proxima again. Okay, okay. Oh, there goes Ultron. And the revive. Things are not looking too good. <laughs> All right, well, there goes uh, Ultron. Okay. Back to Proxima. Maybe I should be focusing on somebody else, but um, I think this is a lost cause at this point. It really looks like it is. <laughs> Well, we tried. All right. Well, it was an honor. It was an honor. You guys worked hard and did uh, fulfilled your duty. Thank you, guys. So there it is. I mean, you see where my difficulties lie um, with regard to my characters. I would have to bring up Magneto a little bit so I can use him in this tier. I might try a different composition. Maybe I'll throw in Phoenix and see what she'll do as far as damage is concerned. Uh, but I still feel like it would be a wasted effort because of the fact that Magneto does bring in that extra blind and it's so helpful during the match. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I wasn't able to close it out, uh, but you kind of get an idea of the pace that I take and who I target and what I'm trying to do here. Maybe this will be helpful to you. I hope it will be. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can drop a comment below. Uh, if you want to see something else or you know something about a specific character or a squad, let me know as well. I'd be happy to cover that. Um, I'm going to probably try to make another video with a different composition on a different team and see how successful I am or if I'm able to go any further, at least close it out. Or I'll come back later and do a video with a more powerful team like this one that I just showed or exactly like the one that I just showed and uh, close this tier out. But for now, that's it. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I, tw I stream on Twitch. I was going to say I Twitch and stream, but uh, either way it works. Uh, on the weekends, uh, Marvel Strike Force, Saturday and Sundays around 3 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Eastern. So maybe I'll see you guys there. All right. Take it easy. I'm on 5,000. Peace.